Hey everyone, Shane Watkins here and I am a photographer, videographer and content creator. So today's episode is going to be on um, probably a pretty big topic and that is to do with sponsorship or getting work within the fitness industry. So I say fitness industry, uh, this could also help out some content creators as well or someone who's looking to get into fashion or just some sort of business or exposure tips which could help you out. So I'm not really the biggest expert in this but been involved with the fitness industry for quite a while now. I've kind of seen how it's evolved and uh, I've been a photographer and videographer uh, for quite a few years now. Um, I've also done a bit of commercial modeling for uh, a few agencies as well. So yeah, I've seen how it's evolved and I've also been involved with some other athletes who have been working or sponsored by nutrition brands or clothing brands. So these are just a few of my tips on how I think the modern person should be getting themselves out there and trying to get work or sponsored. The first of all I'm going to say they literally they couldn't be in more of an exciting time at the moment. There's there's so many brands coming out, there's there's fitness federations coming out, fashion brands, all with the help of social media which are helping getting out these brands. So with the help of social media at the moment Small businesses, small fashion brands are, are able to sprout out from anywhere and with all this free advertising, all these re resources which we have at our hands, it's giving us all these tools where we can really, really push our brands out there or our, yourselves out there. And I think you've just got to be a bit more clever about it because that's the thing, there are downsides about it as well because there's so much access, that means everyone can be doing it and it's such a noisy place on social media. So. Making yourself stand out um, is becoming harder, but there are more tools that are coming out which you can use to do with um, social media platforms. There are some other hacking ideas which you can do to really get your name out there. So the bigger picture is there's so much more opportunity out there and I'm just gonna give a couple of little tips of which I've done along my career. A few years ago, it used to just be a case of brands, etc., looking for how much of a following you have. So with other services coming out now, such as being able to buy followers, um, getting fake followers, or employing someone to get followers. It's, it's only natural that a brand is gonna look into that a little bit more now. So bear this in mind when you're trying to get your following up, that would just be an instant cross over you if that is even happening at all. So if you're trying to get yourself out there, these are some little things you can do as well. It's so easy now just to be able to follow someone and just even following someone alone, they're gonna get a follower and they're gonna know you're around. So send them a little message, introduce yourself, but be professional about it. Don't, don't act like you're a robot or copy and paste and into every single person's DMs. So there are pages out there, if they like your content, they'll publish it on their Facebook or Instagram page, but be careful as well because um, some of them can be probably not for your kind of thing you're looking for. So what I mean by this, you could scroll down their Instagram page and all you see is, genitals, chests, bosoms, but in a non-tasteful way. And really depends what kind of image you're trying to put out there. And would a brand like to see that? Probably not. So I don't know if anybody has noticed, but can you see all the, the new live features coming up on Instagram or Facebook? I know they've been around for a while, but Instagram stories as well. They, they kind of had so many complaints about people being fake and not real on Facebook or, or social media. And then they responded to this with more live feeds, Facebook Live, Instagram Live, Snapchat. So all these things are a lot more real. So in case you didn't notice, they're pushing all these things. So definitely take advantage of those sort of things. So now you're at the point where you have those little tools where you can help get your profile out there. But now you're at the point where you have to deliver the goods. You have to be a good Instagram account or Facebook account, otherwise people are just not gonna bother because there are so many good accounts out there, what is gonna make yours stand out above the rest? And that's all really just to do with two things. Is it entertaining or is it educational? Whichever way you really manipulate that little fundamental and whichever way you are entertaining or you are educational within your, in your field, this is what's gonna make your content stand out. So really you wanna find out which one you're best at doing educating or entertaining. So you really need to decide which one of those you actually are. And you can also do a combination of the two. That is really powerful. So my next little point is gonna to be to do with how you actually appear. So here we have these now. So even iPhones, Samsung, they're all bringing out technology which produce photos just as good as a normal camera. If you compare it yourself to some of the gold standard sort of profiles, 
everything is shot really well, nice high quality cameras, and lighting is really nice, high contrast, everything sticks out. So definitely take your time and do a little bit of research and find out how to film or take a photo really well. And with what we have available to us now, well, just what we have in our pockets, there's no reason why we can't do that. Also, a few things I've noticed as well now is people tend to think that oh, I really need to specify or be specific with my content towards a clothing brand or I need to be specific towards a nutrition brand. And to be honest, if you have a big following behind you, it really doesn't matter too much. So if you think of high-end campaigns such as Hugo Boss, a lot of campaigns are just solely to do with celebrity endorsements. You know, they, they necessarily not anything to do with that sort of brand or they're just, they're in films, but they just look good and they sell. So don't be afraid to put content out there. No, no matter what it is, just play to your strengths and have fun with it because this way you're just gonna keep yourself interested. And if it's fun and interesting, you're gonna keep wanting to do it, just mostly for yourself. And then when opportunities arrive, that's going to, just gonna be a byproduct of what you've already done. Okay, so there are just a few of my tips and uh, they're pretty broad, but hopefully you've got some tips from that. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos specifically to do with content and how to make yourself stand out. So definitely keep an eye on what videos are gonna be coming up. If you have any more questions about that specifically, put them down in the comment section. If you like what you're watching, please give me a subscribe and a like, and I will speak to you soon.